pay all Debo here. So we got the bike all put back together, pedals are on. Um, in the previous video where I was actually installing the pedals, I didn't see the Allen wrench. Again, if there's a number on here, it's too small for me to see. But this is one of two or three Allen wrenches that come with the bike. So you can use this and insert a new pedal in order to tighten or loosen those SPD clips as you're going on. Um, but we have everything assembled now, so really it's just powered back up. Um, one of the questions that was asked is, can I use this adapter in um, Europe? And so yes, you can. This part of the bike is a transformer. The transformer's job is to take an AC source and turn it into a DC circuit. So the output of this is 12 volts at 8,000 milliamps. I'm reading that right, 500 milliamps. So that's five amps, I believe. Um, the input of this is anywhere from 100 to 240 volts. So typically in the US, you have 100, 120 volts. In Europe, you have 220 or 240. So all you would need is a different cable that has this connection on one side, but your 240 volt um, adapter on the other side, this transformer would still plug into the bike and still work. So yes, yeah, it'll work for both. Um, America and or European or um, circuits elsewhere that use 240 volts. So that's your only power supply. Now that we powered up, I see a red light on the back of this. You can see that's kind of glowing. Um, so then we should be ready to go here. Now mine's dirty from use. But if you need to update your MyX Fitness bike, all you do is you turn off power by turning off power here and or unplugging the bike down there and it turns off entire power now every time you bring the bike back up it's going to connect to your existing wired ethernet connection or your wireless ethernet connection and the first thing it does is check for updates since beach has just released the new version of this for bodi it should find an update and sure enough it does we didn't do anything special to do that just has its Ethernet connection already configured and automatically it says updating the My X Fitness app. Now again, this is the first time I've done this, so I've heard a little bit of complaints that sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. But for us, um, being on wireless and having already used the bike, I think part of the problem is people haven't used the bike before, so they probably don't have their Ethernet configured, so then it's not updating. Um, but I would just say cycle down the power, cycle it back up. You should see the update work here. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this, this works good for us. So we stopped at 100. I think there it kind of reboots, and then it goes back to your profile screen. This is maybe the second most asked question that I've already seen online through clients and customers is, can, can I have multiple profiles? And yes, you can. It's very similar to Peloton. You pay for one subscription. You could add your wife, your husband, your kids, friends, neighbors. I think you have up to five profiles on any one bike and still pay the uh, $29.99 per month of fee. Now $29.95 is on OpenFit platform and there would be an additional $29.95 if you also want to use the BODI platform or vice versa. You can either use one or supposedly now we can use both. So I'll say I want to log in as Jason. Updating down here so it's trying to do something. And you see right off the bat, it goes back to this open fit platform. Supposedly part of the update that we just downloaded is gives you the ability to switch from open fit to Beachbody's um, new platform, BODI, which is Beachbody On Demand Interactive, so you can do live workouts. Now, first thing I wanna say here about open fit is you're not using the newest version of OpenFit unless you see videos that say OpenFit in the background. OpenFit in the background, you can tell those that that's the newest updated version of OpenFit. If you look at the old videos, it won't say anything about OpenFit. It'll use the MyX Fitness logo in the background because that was the old set. So that's one way to know that you're using the, the newest version. Um, I'll go down here to the profiles. This is where you can add a profile. Um, but hopefully here under settings, we're gonna see some, some options. 
it says it's build number 6.3.0 version 20 20 44 11 so that may or may not help you when it comes up to this um, i'm going to try to log out see what happens there and so it automatically goes back to the open fit screen where i can log in now the new feature that i've never seen before is down here in the corner and this is this might be what's confusing some people so they need to log out of open fit or my x fitness whichever version they have go to the login screen and down here at the bottom there's a brand new one do you want to switch to beach buddy on demand now this is a neat feature that peloton doesn't have is there's an entire library of online cycling videos that comes with MyX Fitness and OpenFit. Now there's a brand new platform that's gonna be like Peloton Interactive Videos for BODI. And so you might say, well, I wanna do all the live workouts, so I want BODI. But you're like, oh no, I really love the old trainer, Christine, or whoever that you loved on the OpenFit platform, and you may still wanna go back and forth again with, with that. With my X Fitness bike, you have that option to go back and forth between the two different channels, which I think is a value. Now you will have two different subscription fees to pay for that, but having that flexibility, I think might be nice for a lot of people. So are we sure we wanna do that? We say continue and then it kind of seems like nothing's happening here or it's going slow. Okay, I pressed the X and it kind of logged me out. And this is, I think, one of the things that I've heard from people is they go here and kind of nothing happens. <laughs> so that may or may not be the case that we have here. Let's try to go back into this one. It wants me to go to openfit.com activate. And to be honest, this is really, it's, it's a big deal with Peloton about registering your bike. Here um, with OpenFit, for me, it's been very easy to go to that um, address you type in your code you're ready for um peloton it literally feels like it's something you have to call in to do but since i already have an email there i should be able to log in with my existing email oh and i'm not sure if i remember this off the top of my head It's just a matter of remembering what your username and password is. And again, I have a different one here for OpenFit than I do for Beach Buddy On Demand. So I'm back into that. Looks like I could go do um, a ride here. Um, we've talked before about the different options here. So you've seen videos that show how to connect headphones and disconnect headphones. I've talked a lot about that. I'm really happy with the Harman Kardon speakers. It's a Bluetooth speaker that connects really well to this. In the initial version of the software here with MyX Fitness, I wasn't able to connect external speakers, only headphones, but now with Bluetooth, you can connect external speakers. It seems to be working good. Um, and then also you would pair your heart rate monitor. That's as simple as grabbing your heart rate monitor. Um, again, this is a, another polar thing. You just kind of try and push the buttons, the top and the bottom. This will highlight yellow when it's working. Right now it looks like it's dead, so it's not connecting. You connect pair, and it'll say connect to your um, heart rate monitor. So that also looks like it's working. We can go and play the video. Um, another question that's come up just recently, because again, a lot of people are using this bike for the first time. They just ordered it, just came out. 
expect one to three weeks of delivery time. What is going on? My name is Justin, and this is your third <laughs> story. People, this ride is all about just connecting to the market. So I hope you're excited. Make sure your heart rate monitor is turned on and good to People go. People have complained about and also working on the not being able to hear the instructor over the music. And that's one of the things I actually really like about this. If I want more music, I can turn the instructor all the way off and just be hearing the music that's going on. I can turn on the overall volume over here. And remember, I've got volume up and down features on the on the side. If I were to get a quick trainer. But we're going to get there together. Something around a 100. I can go to just the trainer and only hear his voice. So I think the way that My X Fitness does with this is better than the way Peloton does. It, Cause it allows you to say either all music, all trainer or anywhere in between and still turn your volume up and down. In fact, I think when I go up here, um, there's different options about the rings that come on and alarms, but very good configuration for um, your music options here. Okay, again, I was just trying to do this to make sure that um, the OpenFit platform is working. Now that we're done here, I should be able to stop. It gives you a warning. If you leave the workout now, it's not going to save anything, but that's okay. We actually didn't work out. So that's fine. We're going to go back. And this is where we kind of got stuck before as I went to my profile. Is there anything that here that we need to see? Um, I do like keeping track of your calories in our group. What we do is we measure our calories at the beginning of every week or every month and that shows you your progress. You've got some profile settings here, tutorials about how to use the bike, how to adjust your height, calibration ride, which was really important in the initial version of this bike because everything is done off heart rate. Now that you're using cadence sensor as well as heart rate, that's not as important, but I would still probably do um, a calibration ride once a month or so. This is talking about our subscription. There's your, your email address if you, if you had forgot that like I did earlier. Wi-Fi connection, internet speed, it can test. Troubleshooting, account, under account, how do I cancel my account, privacies, terms and conditions, and then log out. Log out is where we need to go. Kind of weird that it goes back and says it's updating the app, so maybe now we're getting an update that we didn't have the first time, not sure. But this is where a few people have been stuck, is trying to go from the OpenFit platform to the BODI platform. So hopefully this is uh, working for us. But this hasn't been a one for one deal. Like every time you do it, it just works. So uh, hopefully we can see what's going on here. A couple of people have talked online about kind of seeing the black screen of death here. Ours kind of looks like it's hanging. Um, it might be a good idea to plug in an ethernet cable, depending on if this is a, a big update or a slow update. And I think in, in a point of confusion, what I would do if it's getting stuck like this is you know either power down or completely take the power off of it. Okay, so I hit the power button. It kind of did like a sleep option. I hit the power button again, it came back, and now it says it's updating the whole Android version. These tablets are ob obviously an Android tablet as opposed to Apple or something. So it had to update the Android thing, then update the potential BODI system to it. So I think this is something you're gonna have to play with. Um, again, I would try not to power off the machine completely whenever it's doing one of these updates because I think that's that's a point where you can get into um, having a firmware issue where you're not going to be able to turn the machine on and then you're going to need to call MyX Fitness to figure that out um, but I would maybe try the power button a couple times completely cycle power on it and uh, hopefully you're going to see the screens that we're seeing here again we have a Wi-Fi connection so maybe not as fast as if you had your wired connection going we do have a wired connection in this room but my cable right now is not long enough um, to connect to the machine and i really don't want to be tethered to it i like the fact that this machine can go anywhere i have a power cable it doesn't need the ethernet wire um well we'll give it a couple minutes to update here we'll come back and i'll show you what's going on 